Hey what's up guys Gaurav back with the video and guys in this video I'm gonna do the unboxing of the JBL Live 220 BT so let's begin. So guys this is the box for this JBL Live 220 Bluetooth earphones as you can see we have the image of the earphones itself and these are the color Bluetooth earphones it also has Google Assistant as well as Alexa we have the Bluetooth branding over here and the battle life claim by JBL is up to 10 hours but I have to test it and on this side it says live 220 bluetooth earphones as well as the wireless ambient aware drop through and on the back it says the pricing the pricing on the box it's written 5299 but you can get this at a much cheaper price so i got these earphones from smart mobile store in delhi so if you're in delhi you can surely contact them i will leave their contact information down in the description but these are also available in online stores for example on Flipkart as well as on Amazon so it also tells us about some other features as well for example you have the multi point uh, connection as uh, well so you can connect multiple devices with these earphones and the housing is made up of uh, premium aluminium so we'll surely check it out and it says it has fast charging 15 minutes of charge will give you one hour of playback and the overall battery life is up to 10 hours and on this side it says uh, dare to listen nothing else but if i open this flap so you have the earphones over here but uh, to take it out you need to open this flap on the back and then you can take it uh, out the earphones like uh, this so these are the earphones let me just keep uh, this for uh, aside now and then we also have some paperwork as well as the charging cable so as you can uh, see we have the orange charging cable and it's a micro usb cable not a type c cable and we also have some extra ear tips as uh, well i think the medium are applied and these are the smaller and the larger ones and then we have the quick start guide and some warranty card in this packaging so this is the packaging for the earphones let me just uh, take uh, them out so you can take them out like uh, this and yep so these are the earphones i will talk about the build quality but let me just keep all these things to aside so guys these are the jbl live 220 color earphones so let me just first give a physical overview of them so on the left side we have the jbl branding over here on the inside we have the button for google assistant and alexa on the right earphone we have the volume up button volume down button also have the button in the middle for taking or ending the calls or just the power button the volume up button also act as the forward button for the tracks and the volume down button also act as the pre going for the previous track on the side on the right earphone as well we have the micro usb port that is used for charging the earphones and it is protected via a flap so we have the micro usb charging port as well talking about the earphones so we also have the magnet in the earbuds as you can see and the magnet quality is fair it's not too strong not too loose and it's fine talking about the ear tips as well the ear tips are not too hard or not too soft they are just fine but i'm gonna test the fitting of these earphones in the ear using different ear tips as well so after that i will let you know how's the fit of these earphones talking about the specification of these earphones these earphones have a 8 mm drivers the bluetooth version on these earphones is 4.2 which is not the latest version i mean we could have got the latest version for the price at which these earphones are available the bluetooth range on these earphones is about 10 meters the weight of these earphones is about 31 gram so that's a pretty good thing as these are super lightweight and you can use them for long listening hours without feeling uncomfortable so guys now i'm gonna talk about how you can connect this earphones with your phone so let me just turn on the earphone so you have to turn the earphones on by pressing the middle button 
so let me just press it as you can see the white light is blinking now and it has become stable so let me just go to the settings and here on the bluetooth it will search it so as you can see it's searching for the device and the light has turned blue on the earphone so it shows the jbl live 220 bt so let me just select this and it will go in the pairing mode as you can see the earphones are now connected with my phone so this is the setup process or the connecting process how you can connect these earphones with your phone it's pretty straightforward just like any other earphone so guys now i'm going to talk about how comfortable these earphones are so i have been using these earphones for about five hours now and i must say that the comfort on these earphones is really good as these earphones are very lightweight you won't be facing issues while wearing them around your neck for a long time also the ear tips are of good quality they fit really well as many of the earphones don't fit inside my ears but that's not the case with this. Of course it depends upon person to person but I must tell you that I have tried many earphones but very few of them gets easily fit in my ear so these are pretty comfortable for me. So guys now I'm gonna talk about the battery life on these earphones so as you can see I still have 80% of the battery left on these earphones I have been using these earphones for about 2 to 3 days now and I only charge them once but otherwise I haven't charged these and I continuously listen to music for about 4 to 5 hours but still the battery life is 80% so I think the battery life on these earphones is pretty good plus you also have the 15 minute of fast charge that will give 1 hour of extra playback time so in battery department these earphones are pretty incredible talking about the charging time so it will take about two hours to charge them from zero to hundred percent talking about the battery size so the battery size on these earphones is about 220 mAh so that's pretty good the only thing that I hate on these earphones regarding the charging and the battery there is no USB-C support you only have the micro USB which is pretty slow as compared to USB-C so guys now I'm gonna talk about the sound quality on these earphones the sound quality on these earphones is fine it's not spectacular it's decent Actually the mid tones, the high tones and the vocals are clear. If you are into music with heavy bass, then yes you will like them. Otherwise for the normal listening, they are decent, neither too good nor too bad. I listen to songs of different genre but was amazed with the bass they produce while listening to the music with the heavy bass. So guys now I'm gonna talk about some customization that you can do on your JBL Live 220. So this is the application that is called JBL Headphone. Yeah, you can download it on both on Android and iOS as well so on opening the app you have to connect your earphones with this one so as you can see I've already connected it and it will show the battery status then you can turn on the talk through feature as well as the ambient aware the ambient aware feature will let you hear the surrounding sound so that you don't isolate yourself while walking on the road or something in the public place so and the talk through feature is a useful feature when someone is talking to you while you are wearing the earphones you will able to hear their voice clearly so these are the feature available in the app and you can turn on or off through the app only and the next feature i'm going to talk about on the app is the eq feature so we have the eq feature on the app so as you can see it says jazz vocal bass and then you can create your own eq as well so let me just uh, go back and we also have the update feature as well for example if you click on the arrow we have the firmware update option as well and it says that after updating the firmware you need to press the volume up and down button for five seconds and then you have to restart the jbl app as well as the headphones so as you can uh, see let me just click on this so this is the new software update which is available for the earphones uh, let me just uh, go back if you go to the settings here we have the option of the auto off so this feature will turn the earphones automatically off after some time when they are not in use then we have a voice assistant feature for example it is set to google assistant but you can change it to the amazon alexa as well then we have the product help faq and tips so let me just go back and then we have the firmware update as well so this is the app and as you can see it's showing the blue color because i have the blue color jbl earphones 
if you have another color of the earphones such as green red black then it will show that color so this is a pretty cool app to have on your phone if you use a jbl earphone because you can customize lots of different things while using this app so guys now i'm gonna talk about something which i really don't like about these earphones the first is the port selection that they build so we have a micro usb port on these earphones instead of usb type c i mean we are in 2021 and almost every other gadget have a usb type c port but these earphones still stuck with the micro usb so i really wish that the next version of these earphones must have a type Type C port. So guys the next feature that I really wish we had on these is the active noise cancellation or ANC. I know at this point it's difficult to find ANC but we have the nothing ear ones as well around rupees 5 to 6 thousand where we have the active noise cancellation so they could have easily added the active noise cancellation on these earphones although they don't have the active noise cancellation but this still cut out some of the ambient noise but it's not that great so i really wish that we had a active noise cancellation on these earphones so guys now if i talk about should you buy these earphones or not so at the price of 4000 or up to 5000 these earphones are pretty good you will have a great sound experience on these earphones even the bass is pretty good actually the bass is the best part for me on these earphones the battery life is also decent on this one the only thing that i miss about the, these earphones is the active noise cancellation if you spend a little more about 5000 to 6000 you will have the nothing ear ones which will provide you a better overall sound experience as well as some other features even anc is also available on the nothing ear ones but if your budget is around 3500 to 4500 or 5000 then yes these are there in the market and you can definitely go for these these are pretty good for casual listening throughout the day and these are actually pretty lightweight so you won't be feeling any pain over your neck and something like that so i can definitely recommend these earphones for a normal listening experience so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you do do like the video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you